Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review and demo and my thoughts on the Huda Beauty Tantor Cream Bronzers. So I have this really unique PR package here that I'm going to open up and share with you guys. I have been trying one of the shades for over a week so that I could give you my well-rounded thoughts. So if you guys are interested in seeing swatches and seeing me demo the product and talk about it, then just keep on watching. So the PR box says, if you can't tone it, tan it, which is like my motto of life. And it says that these have buildable application. They are water and sweat resistant with a long lasting finish. So these are available now on Sephora. I'm going to go ahead and link them down below if you guys are interested, but I'm going to cut right to the chase. These are $30 a piece. It is a pretty pricey product, but I think they might be my favorite cream contour product that I have personally tried. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys swatches of all five shades. So I will say I think that these run a little dark and I actually really appreciate that. I feel like it's more important to include darker complexions in on a bronzing product because I feel like that's very hard to find. But if you are a lighter complexion like me, you're probably going to get away with fair or light. Definitely medium is too dark for me, so I have been playing with the shade light. So there's also a double-sided brush in this new launch. This is the Face Sculpt and Shade Brush and I have been using this to apply the product. I'm sorry that I'm not showing you this clean, but I have been using it. So to compare the size of the Huda Beauty Tantor to another really typical bronzing product that I use, this is the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick, which I also use as cream bronzer. This has 8.5 grams in it, and the Huda Beauty has 11 grams, so it does have more product for your money. Here is what the inside packaging looks like when you first open it up. It comes with a little flap over top. I would suggest keeping that on there because with any cream, you don't want it to dry out. Otherwise, you're gonna have to use like a mixing agent once it dries out. And then I am sure that you guys have seen these all over Instagram. They look so smooth and buttery and nice. Okay, so I just ran and got my Soleil Tande Chanel bronzer. This is obviously massive and way bigger than the Huda Beauty. It also, I believe, is $50, so it does cost $20 more, but this has 30 grams of product in it, and I do want to compare the two just because I feel like this is a very popular cream bronzer on the market. So I've had mine for a while. I believe it only comes in one shade. I guess I could be wrong, but it says Bronze Universal on the back of it, and I think it's only this shade, which is very light for deep complexions, but this is a little bit difficult to blend. I have used quite Quite a bit of it and I do like it on me for like a light bronze but it is a light bronze and it is tricky to blend and in my experience the Huda Beauty has been probably the most effortless cream bronzer that I have ever tried so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into applying the product I feel like my face has no dimension right now without my contour bronzer and highlight and blush so we really need to get that moving so like I said this is the shade light and it is pretty pretty deep on me so i don't feel like this takes a huge amount of explaining i'm just going to show you what i do for my cream bronzer so i'm dipping in with the small end of the brush so when i contour i like to follow my natural sideburn area and just follow it down the side of my face so i'm going to kind of dot and swipe this product until i'm about halfway and then just carve out where i want it to be I'm gonna add a little bit to the side of my forehead. Even though I don't have a big forehead, I like to balance it out up there for color reasons. And then I'm gonna flip over to the other side of the brush. Lately, I've just been using my regular F80 Kabuki from Sigma, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush and blend out the product. It literally is so effortless, I feel like you guys are just gonna watch it disappear into a perfect blend. I always brush in a downward motion because of baby hairs. And when I do circular motions, it's always in a downward swipe, downward swipe, if that makes any sense at all. So that is what I typically do for my bronzing and contouring with cream contour. If you use a cream, you are getting a more natural finish than if you were to really carve with a powder. But you can build this up and blend as much as you want, pretty much, if you want a very harsh contour. I never go for a very harsh contour unless it's just for photography. But in regular day-to-day -day life, this is what I do. A little bit goes a long way with this product, but it's also 
not like the Benefit. The Benefit is almost like too blendable to the point where I don't really know that I have it on. I like a natural finish, so I do like the Benefit, but this is a little bit more of a pigment than the Benefit one, on me at least. It could just be the color. I feel like this is foolproof, like if you're a beginner, I feel like this is going to be the cream contour for beginners. So I don't typically contour my nose and you guys are going to realize I don't know how to do it. I do know how to do it but I don't have the patience for it. So I like to add a little bit of color to my nose. I like the shape of my nose so it's not to make it look smaller. It's just to give it a little bit of color to balance out my face. So I'm going to use the side of the brush with a little bit of the leftover contour on it. And I'm just going to very faintly apply this to the sides of my nose right in the middle kind of as if I knew what I was doing and then buff it away literally just <laughs> buffing it away <laughs> then if I have the time for it I will go underneath my bottom lip and add a little bit of a shadow it's just gonna make it look a little bigger you can clearly see that it gives me a more even bronze look but I just can't even explain enough how easy and effortless it is to blend this product. So that's literally it, you guys. I don't think I have a ton to say about this product, but I know that a lot of you guys had questions on what I felt about the product when I posted about it on Instagram. This is it, you guys. Like, this is a favorite. This is probably, no, it is the best cream contour that I have used. It is silky, it is blendable, and it lasts a very, very long time. I am obsessed with this cream contour. If you are looking for a product that's going to give you that natural flush to the skin and you'll be contoured but people won't know that you contoured, look into this. Of course, if you want to be like full on snatched, you could play around with building this up and making it more sharp. But I would suggest for that type of look to use an actual powder bronzer. You're going to get that more sharp line with a powder bronzer. I'm really happy with this product. I'm happy that they are catering to darker skin tones. Hopefully they work well for darker skin tones. But as far as my skin tone goes, I really do like the shade light. I probably could get away with fair as well. But light is like that happy medium for me right between natural and a little bit more of a bronze look. So this was probably a really quick video, but that is all that I have to say about the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Bronzing Cream. If you guys are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe down below so that you don't miss out on any of my other reviews. I do post twice a week over here on YouTube, sometimes more. And to my subscribers already, thank you guys so much for supporting me. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and hopefully I will see you all in my next one. Bye!